Ah, welcome to New Comics for Old Men. Something we're going to do that's different. Uh, we're going to open, we just received our UCS box and our diamond box. We're going to open them up, check the packaging. There's all kinds of things going on in the internet talking about the, the split up and everything. And let's just go down to the nitty gritty what it's, what it's like getting these boxes. Uh, first, let's take a look at the box. I do get a lot less books from UCS because it's just diamond. But uh, you can see the tape job. They use paper tape. The box is flat. Uh, typed all the corners are taped. And this is the diamond box. Uh, you can see that it's over. It's quite a bit overstuffed. Could be with packing material. Uh, the corners are not taped, uh, so we have some damage on the corners. So let's pop them open and take a look at what they look like on the inside. So I had originally gone back to uh, Diamond for DC until uh, DC uh, said, nope, can't do that. We're not going to deal with Diamond anymore. So now I'm going to have to get my books from uh, UCS. We'll see. It's the packing list. Lots of packing on top. As you can see, they put the larger books long ways. Like the black label books are crossways. So there's a damage right off the bat when they put the book in. They didn't take the time to do it correctly. Folded that over. That's from UCS. Now a lot of people online are like, oh, it's so great. Uh, so I don't know, hopefully we can get this, but if you can look at all the spine ticks on my Nightwing, there's at least five on that. So that's also going to go as a, a damage. That one also. So like, what am I giving my customers, right? I've, I've cut back because of the, the virus and everything. I've cut back to really ordering for my subscribers uh, because we're still not open yet. Um, one of the things Diamond did was move away from the um, separate bottom boxes as you can see has the two that wide gap which is comics are going to fall into the bottom and they they put a couple of cardboard tiny things in the bottom to try to save it uh, let's see if we have any more damages now everybody is no knows that uh diamond is no stranger to damages also so um uh, we're going to open them up and see how they did this week. First, I want to double check my black labels. Two questions. All right, at least all the black labels are good. One of the problems is, is that um, on this sheet, they don't show us, uh, I know what I paid in total. It doesn't show the amount per book or the shipping or the COD charge. So, I mean, I'm sure I could get that, but I'm gonna have to dig for it. So that's what they call, you know, that's not really transparency. Transparency would be that all, all your amounts that you're charged are on the sheet so you know right then and there instead of having to dig and call the company or look on your invoices online and oh well, that's this is this is new this is new we have bubble wrap from diamond usually we only get bubble wrap when we get toys but this is bubble wrap with comics Look at that, a lot of it, it's a lot of it. 
So, um, I don't want to give away everything, but on the sheet that Diamond sends, they give you a total of the amount of books cost, uh, retail and wholesale, and then they also give you um, how much your shipping costs. It's there. You all don't need to know how much I bought in comics. It's not a lot this week. Uh, again, I said, like, we're still not open. Oh, I don't know what this is from. I don't think I ordered that, but uh, maybe it comes with something that we bought. They're cool little patches. So, I had ordered Fangoria from Diamond. One of my customers likes that. This is the one thing about Diamond having DC, UCS having DC. I end up double ordering. So now I have too much. But these also seem to be in really nice condition. I have two, three, Wow, Death Knight, uh, Death Metal posters, which I didn't get from UCS. Uh, yeah, full-size posters. I actually have a poster thing to put that in. All right. All right, first off the bat, damaged book. This looks like it's damaged from printer, though. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe with the light shining on it. Right, right there, it looks like. Maybe somebody's, uh, looks like a water damage, actually, to be honest. If we can get the light to hit it. Let's see. Right there. Oh, there's death metal black cover. Oh, they did it matte. That's sweet. Let's see, Hawkman. There's a damaged Hawkman. So. Now, what people people are like? Well, you know, the company's going to make it right. They're going to give you, you know, they're going to send you another book, or they're going to give you a, a refund. What I don't understand is, new comics are worth money on New Comic Day on Wednesday, uh, or when they come out. Now that DC is also on Tuesdays. Um, after that, the people that were going to get it got it, and then you're stuck with it. Um, I don't want damaged books. I want books I can sell. Uh, whether I get the money back for them or not, that's not the important. That's not important. Uh, it keeps us from going out of business, but it doesn't help us stay in business. All right. I have to be also careful not to damage them <laughs> when I'm looking through them. It's okay. It doesn't quite look damaged, but not the greatest. Everybody knows uh, darker covers are tougher to stay in, in good condition. Oh, look at that. They then put a cardboard in between one also. Get some flashes. Dark Knight Metal. Stanley Lau cover. Alright. You're on a good roll. You're on a good roll. Foil covers coming up. Uh, the new death metal. New foil covers are very temperamental about condition. They can be scratched, you get surface damage, they can be bent easily. They 
can be printer issues from when they cut it. If the yeah. so, all of these were good, but this very last one. I mean, it's not. Everybody's like, oh, wow, you're so picky. Collectors are picky. Um, this bottom corner is turned and bent, so I won't be able to sell that one. And there's two more, and they are. Now this one seems. To, this one looks like it's a printer. Wow. In, in the same corner, but you can see it's straight instead of being like just an, an odd. It looks like it was bent when they were cutting it. When the when the blade came back up, it's just slightly bent. It has a line quite a ways up. more dark night metal and some more dark night metal but they all the rest of these are in good shape all right so four out of all these comics were damaged and three out of these comics were damaged so percentage wise I think that diamond did better this time uh, uh, I stress this time, I mean, I, dealers that are out there know what I'm talking about. But UCS, they're the new guys on the block, and this is supposed to be their thing, right? This is what their, their selling point was, is that they were going to handle books so much better. Now, I hear Lunar out on the West Coast does even a better job. I don't know. I don't get Lunar, so I can't, I can't do them on, uh, do a thing. But um, this time... It seems like Diamond, percentage-wise, did a better job. Um, I don't know how easy it is to get my refunds from UCS because I um, actually have been getting so few books from them that I haven't turned in any damages yet. Um, but I know Diamond is 100% uh, on their, their returns all the time. So, yeah. Thanks for coming out, checking us out. If you want to see us see what diamond and ucs does next week or the week after let us know in the comments like subscribe you know what to do it's youtube if you're on here you've done it do it for us thank you keep reading comics and cut